This video describes the procedures for installing Winpack Access Control software on your system. The Winpack installation setup installs the required components and programs depending on the type of installation. The Winpack software is distributed on an auto-run CD with release notes and other technical documents. Insert the Winpack CD or DVD into the CD slash DVD ROM drive and an installation browser opens. If the browser does not open, browse to the CD or DVD folder and run the setup.exe file by right-clicking on the file and then select Run as Administrator. Once the user clicks on the setup file, the welcome screen appears. Click Next to continue the installation. The Winpack information screen appears. Then click Next. The Honeywell Access Systems End User License Agreement screen appears. Read the license agreement details and click Accept. The user information screen appears. Type your name, company and CD key details. The CD key is found in the front cover of the DVD case. If you need the demo key please contact us for further information. Click Next. The setup verifies the CD key and displays the message for validity, as the CD key for Winpack PE has been determined to be valid. Click OK to continue. Winpack Windows User Authentication screen appears. Enter the password for the Winpack Windows User Login for the computers. And click Next to continue. Winpack Deployment Options screen appears. Select the deployment type as a custom additional workstation, communication server. Then click Next. The Winpack Setup Type screen appears. By default, the complete installation is selected. Click Next. The system checks for SQL service status and displays the Winpack SQL version screen. The users can select the existing SQL server to use the existing SQL server version or to upgrade to the SQL Express 2019. It is recommended to install new SQL Express 2019 to install a new instance of the SQL Express. Please select Install SQL Express 2019 in the Winpack SQL version screen. Then click Next. The Winpack SQL Server Authentication dialog box appears. Select Windows Authentication and select Next. Click OK to create master key password for backup and restore database. Make sure to correctly memorize the master key password. You will need the master key password while performing database restore using the backup and restore utility. In the upcoming videos we will see how to take the backup for the database and how to restore it in other Winpack servers. Using SQL Server Manager Studio as well as using Winpack Backup and Restore Utility, click Next to continue. Please ensure to remember the given master key password. If you forgot the password, the data will be lost and cannot be recovered. Click OK to continue. The Winpack Destination Path screen appears, displaying the Winpack file path. By default, the Winpack application is installed in the C drive. To change the path, click Browse and navigate to the Destination folder. Then click Next. The screen displays the Winpack database file path. To change the path, click Browse and navigate to the Destination folder for each file. Click Next. The Install screen appears. Select the Installation mode as Install Automatically for an automatic installation. Click Next. A dialog box appears, prompting you to create Winpack shortcuts on your desktop. Click Yes to place icons on your desktop. The following screen is displayed with a summary of the installation information. If you want to change any setting, click Back, or else, click on Install to start the installation. Once the user clicks on Install, it will take 15 to 20 minutes to complete the installation. Meanwhile, please note that before you start the installation of the Winpack software, Make sure you enabled the .NET Frameworks, otherwise the installation will never start, and you will have the error for .NET Frameworks. Let me make the video faster, while it is installing.
After completing the installation, the following screen appears. Click Yes, I want to restart my computer. Now to restart your computer after installation. Or else click No, I will restart my computer later to complete the installation, without restarting your computer. It is recommended to restart the computer, after installation. However let me restart the computer by selecting Yes, and then, click on Finish. Once the computer is restarted, you will have the following applications icons on the desktop. WinPack User Interface WinPack Backup Utility WinPack Input Utility WinPack Services WinPack Server Manager As you can see on my screen. However, we will see in the next video how to open WinPack software for the first time, and do the necessary action, in order to make the system stable. Hope you understand how to install the WinPack Access Control software, without any errors. Thank you for watching this video. If you want any instant technical assistance, please join our membership. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.